two. Bring on the dancers. See if the legs can hold out and do another one. In, um, I don't remember the year for sure. There, there was a, a lady on the team named Brenda Desmura. And at one point, Brenda and I saw some other dancers who were starting to do some things that were unlike traditional clogging. They're called the fiddle puppets. They're still dancing and they do wonderful things with steps. Um, they've been an influence on just about everybody from Canada to Florida who does clogging and whoever thought of doing clogging in the last 10 years. Um, they were an influence on us. Brenda and I decided to dance together as a duo for a time. We managed to stay together long enough to put together a few routines. Ours also did not have titles. They were numbered. This for us was just number three, uh, the third and last routine that we put together as a duo. Cub Hill later on asked if, if they could use it as a larger, as a two-couple routine. Um, we adapted it for that and changed it to DC. We started rehearsing at a, a place called Dance Downtown, which is on Charles Street, and the initials kind of came from that. And it's been changed a bit in the last two years. I've been trying real hard to remember this in the past few weeks. We're going to give it a try. seen some of these guys in 10 years and some of them I've never met before in my life.
Uh, about 13 years ago, when Cub Hill was starting out, they used to practice in all sorts of bizarre places, like people's living rooms. And Routine 1 was invented, um, it was appropriately called Routine 1 because they didn't have any routines yet, and they were practicing for city fair. And they went down to a parking lot on Charles Street between 27th and 26th. And I checked last weekend, and the parking lot is still there. And Bob Dalsimer was the coordinator and the choreographer for this routine. So this is routine one. up and he knows who he is we'll have six of the original eight going back to September of 1976 cover I think I saw Bob get up yeah okay come on down and we'd like to invite any other old Cub Hill Cloggers because we're gonna show you something that is really the precursor of, of everything we showed you tonight and that is um, what you have seen is Tra uh, both traditional and contemporary team clogging routines, but way back when, uh, back when people up in the hollows didn't have any electricity and just 